It might be harder to get in contact with someone in your senator or congressman's office, too. Some staff members have been laid off because of the ongoing ba budget battle. Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht takes a closer look. Dial your senator this week and you may not get far. The government shutdown has made it more difficult for the average American to contact their elected officials. Senator Tammy Baldwin's website had the following message. Due to a lapse in government funding, federal law and Senate rules require that my website and Senate offices shut down and operate at limited capacity. Senator Ron Johnson's office says it is still open, but released the following statement. Senator Johnson has chosen to operate his offices with limited staff during the government shutdown. He will have one staff member in his Milwaukee office, one staff member in his Oshkosh office, and a few staff in the Washington, D.C. office. But do all senators and members of Congress need to put their so-called non-essential workers on furlough? UW Green Bay political science professor David Helpap says no. It all de um, depends upon the priorities that those members have. If they really want to be in touch with their constituents, those are the people that they will keep on board. Though it may be difficult reaching some of the representatives, staffers in Washington, the doors for the local office in Green Bay for Congressman Reed Ribble were open. Ribble's staff wouldn't go on camera, but they say they're operating as usual, fielding calls and answering emails. Thank you for calling Congressman Reed Ribble's office. Hellpap says those calls and emails still could sway some possible votes. I think particularly in the House, the rank and file members could have a big impact. Uh, given the divisions that have kind of presented themselves recently. Until the shutdown ends, however, complaints may have to wait. In Green Bay, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News.